All right, welcome back. So today you saw the the uh, thumbnail. It is all about beautification of your base, and I know you're looking like, what is all of this? There's a lot of weird things you're seeing. So uh, I don't even know where to start. Let's just let's start over here. So I figured out how to make spiked walls that also kind of look like what you would see in a palisade, like a a Mott and Bailey. Um, yeah, they're not as spiky as I would like, but that's about the best you can do. And uh, I'm going to just go through all these and then we'll come back and I'll kind of show you how we make these. Uh, came up with a nice low fence. This is using the... This is using plant fiber roof block uh, for the post. Same with it, same as this. And then for the... I don't know what you want to call this, the purling or something. I am using half timbered wall block. So that's what you see there. Also, there's a hedge. I made a fence out of a hedge. It's out of flowers. It's a pain to do because you got to do it one block at a time. Oh, apparently you get stuck in it too. I had no idea you get stuck in it. Uh, but that's really cool. You can make a fence out of flowers. You can also do topiary. I didn't decide to make a giant dinosaur or something out of it, but uh, this uses. So if you go into number three here, you got flower soil is the top portion. This little stem down here is dirt. It's a pain to do. You can't do it just on the ground because it merges with the ground. You have to put stone around it. It's actually better to do it out here like this. So if you want to have a, I, I think it's called a colonnade where you would have or a procession where you'd have a straightway lined by trees. So you can make all kinds of interesting shapes with it. Pretty cool. In here, I just decorated this a little bit to make it look nicer. But the the topiary type, that's pretty cool. So this wall here is all made out of roof. This is just completely roof, nothing but it. It's all plant fiber roof block. You just dink, bink. And what I like about the plant fiber, it gives this, get up there. That's not gonna be easy right here. I'm not gonna be able to do it here. So this would be more like your hobbit sized, right? And this is more your people size. I like how it gives this band right here. I think that looks really cool. But uh, once you build it up, you can merge it, but you have to keep, they have to be one block apart. And then you can continue merging. But you see, it, it already starts to do a little bit of the, if I do that further, then it does that. That's how you can tell it is a roof. So I also made a mailbox. So this is out of the roof tiles block. This one's real simple. You just three, four, I think it's five high. It is five. Let's see if I can get it, get it without having to go up. Nope. Oh, come on. We'll get there. See ya. Five high. Pick your side. Mailbox. Pretty cool. Uh, maybe one that's a little shorter. A uh, fire hydrant, possibly. If you did uh, like a black square coming out one end, that'd be neat. This, I'm sure everybody's like, what is that? That's all roof. Every single thing you see in there is roof. Now, this one's a little hard to do. It doesn't always work. So I alternated between your, uh, sorry, tarred straw roof. You can tell by the top plank the the tarred roof and the regular straw roof this portion of it looks exactly the same it's only the cap that's any different and then i did that with a tarred shingle block next to it so if i do like i would do i would put this here this is probably too far away for me to do that oh, i'll jump on this there we go if i do this here i'll show you how it works and that's high enough. So here's what I mean by sometimes this is a little jank. 
So what I would do with this one, because I wanted this piece to be the top, is I come to the very, very top and I hit a piece. This time it worked. And then, so that was the very top. And then I would come down, that will be that side, so I'll come down one more, do this. And I come down, and I come down one more, do that. Down, come down one more, and do that. So that gives me my diagonal that way, and then I have to come to the shard block and do the insides. You gotta make sure it's pointing at it. So, but sometimes it just leaves the little cap and it's it's a real pain. But this gives you an idea for another design that you can put into your walls. This only works with roofs. You can obviously do something like this uh, checkerboard pattern with different blocks, but for roofs, you can get this diagonal. Now, another thing you can do here, if I go to, let's see, let's go right there, come down one, go across one, across one. Now you can see we got a cool shape. Go down again, one more, and one more. Now you can do interesting uh, different windows. Pair that with Chisel Chip's window video. This is what gave me the idea for this. I'll post it down below. Uh, pair that with his video about putting cool stuff on the outside using uh, roofs. And you can make some pretty stuff. Granted, you'd have to use this because you're not going to get a diagonal with the regular blocks. So as long as you're fine with this or any one of these to be your wall, like, you know, this looks like a regular wood wall, um, then that would work just fine. Now, another thing I'm sure everybody wants to know is this bad boy right here, the, quote, railings. So how I did these. Now, the interim piece, this doesn't matter. You could do this with just stone for that matter. I'm going to use this one two, three, is it four? Can I do it? Can I do it? Yep, it's four. And then one, two, three. And one, two, three. You can actually go two apart, but I felt like, because what happens is these will overlap, and I felt like three kind of looks better. Two overlaps it together, so it's a little bit more of a streamline. And you don't have to necessarily have these uh, banisters up to it. But that's just right. Now, this has to be tarred shingle roof block. No other one will do this. The other ones just do the slant. So you're going to pick your spot I picked here. Dink. Dink. And there you go. So now you have a way to do railings. Like I said, the banister portion, the, the pole, the ballast, baluster, is that right? Uh, that could be anything you want. But this has to be tarred shingle roof, at least for now, unless someone can figure out some other way to do it. Because if I don't do it as tarred shingle, let me show you. So let's try stone. It just does that. It is a way to get a slope, and the slope can be run ran up for people that are wanting to do, but it is a 45 degree, so just understand that. If I do, say, the roof tile, it just does the kind of weird, what <laughs> looks like the mailbox. So, you can see that the tarred shingle is the only one that does it. Now, let's go over here and replicate this, and I'll show you a little bit about those. Don't know how long this video is going to be, but it's not going to be that short. Now, on this, it is suggested that you put a stone base because without the stone base it's a real pain in the ass to get this to look right so we're gonna go back to plant fiber now you can pick whatever you want whichever one of these i just think plant fiber looks more like a wooden like like you cut a tree down strip the bark or you, well did strip the bark and just stuck it in the ground with a spike on the top to protect your village. I felt like this looks more appropriate to that, what we're trying to go for. And again, you can make this any height you want. So you want to go all the way to the bottom, put in one there. Sorry, two. Go up one, come out two. 
and then go up one again, two, three. Now you get your three, you gotta come back here, delete this one, delete that one, and there you have it. Now, unfortunately, if you wanted to delete this to get it more spike-like, oh crap, it worked this time. See, that's so weird. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Oh, of course, make a liar out of me. It's working while I'm right here. Uh, before, as soon as I took it out, it made a, a roof going backwards. Well, anyway, you get the idea. So now you get your spikies, and then you come up here and you go to it, whichever one. I just thought half timbered looked more appropriate. I can tell you, stone looks terrible. It's awful. It doesn't like follow across like a beam would like the and I couldn't get any other one to look like this half timber block. Wood looks awful. Uh, I tried all the woods, every single one of them. They all look terrible. It's it's just weird. I mean, it does give that little bit where it cro covers across, but it just does not look as good as half timber does. All right, now let's show you how to do these guys. They're di more difficult. It's kind of a pain, I'm not going to lie. So the first thing, you, uh, let's get closer so that I can do that. Ah, we'll just make a little one. So you want to go down two. Come up. I'm going to go down two. We're going to go over here. We're going to go to dirt. Now this is the hard part. He doesn't want to go. Yep, see, it wants to do that. And that's what, uh, what we're trying to do. Yeah, why? There we go. We got to get it to where it hovers over the actual, and it's it's such a pain in the ass. Sorry, let's try this. Let's do it this way. There we go. Now we have a base down there. Nope. God dang it. Like I said, this doing this is not easy. This, this is if you want to get it. See, that's what I needed. I need that right there. Come on, get over that. Oh, oh I had it. I just had it. I just had it. There it is. Oh, that, that, that. There. Just like that. So you are to come up two. So that's going to give me this little bit of a spike to it. Sorry, one, not two. Then we're going to go to our farm soil. Go on top of it. You can take this as high as you want. If you want to make those tall, those tall vertical trees like you see in um, Greece and whatnot, you could do that too. Let's go that high right there. All right. And there you go. Now imagine you could do this, and the reason I did the dirt is because it looks like the stem. The stem of the bush that you've just been trimming over years and years to get it to shape how you want it to be. You can do all kinds of stuff with this too. I mean, you could really... If you wanted to have some kind of like... Let's see if I can get from the bottom here... Some kind of arm looking thing. You know, you can do all kinds of stuff with this. I can already imagine people are going to make full on topiaries. I was thinking, hey, what kind of shape could I do? I, I could do a pig, probably. I tried. It's not as easy as it sounds. Uh, but I'm sure someone out there is, is good enough that they'll, they'll come back and within a week or so we'll have some really cool animals made out of these things. All right. Well, there's my tips. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Um, I like it a lot. Thanks for watching, everyone.